Hi guys, so I actually have a completely different sort of video today and for the first time like ever on my channel it's nothing to do with beauty, although it is sort of to do with fashion but I never do fashion videos. So I know there's quite a few of these videos dotted around YouTube where it's like five things about Starbucks or five things about Costa and why am I just thinking of coffee places? I think I need some coffee, I am freaking tired. But I'm going to be doing a five facts about Primark employees and Primark in general. So I've never actually worked at Primark myself but I've been doing quite a bit of research on Google from people that have worked at Primark. Every store's different, like Primark seems to be one of them places where every store sort of has its own rules which is kind of strange seeing as it's such a big company. But yeah, let's get into the video. So fact number one is if you've ever shopped at Primark then you'll know that the coat hangers have a little sticker on them which is colour coded and has the size printed on them and basically if an employee is putting the clothing on the hangers and there's not enough of the correct hanger then they will either peel the sticker off or they'll still use that hanger but put it like facing backwards so that you can't see the size. But I think that one actually happens quite a lot because the amount of times I will spend bloody ages looking for my size, rooting right to the back, I'll take it, be like, oh, there it is, finally. And then the paper label, you know, what's actually stuck to the clothing, says a completely different size and it's like, oh my God, they don't have my size and it's so annoying. I mean, it's even more annoying if you get it home and then realize that it's the wrong size. So yeah. Always check the actual label inside the clothing and just ignore whatever it says on the hanger. So fact number two is if you found an item that you freaking love and then you get to the till, you realise it's stained or you know it's ripped or something like that, then no questions asked, they will give you like money knocked off. But they actually can't do it themselves, they have to wait for a supervisor to come, which could take a while depending if the supervisor's somewhere else or if they're busy. So yeah, you'll get money knocked off, but you might be stood for quite a while depending where they are. So fact number three is if you've ever been in Primark, trying clothes on and nothing in your size is fitting you. Do not panic, this happens to most people, they actually have to go up a size or two with most things in there. So the reason for this, although I'm not 100% sure, this is just what I've read from quite a lot of people, and it's basically because the items are cheap, the way they make things more affordable is by using less material. So if you went somewhere else, they're generally like more generous and you get the right amount of material, whereas in Primark, you know, they're a bit more stingy with it, so things are less likely to fit. And some people actually have the opposite problem to this because I think the items, because they're made so quickly and so cheaply, they're not made like as shapely as other things would be in other stores. So instead of having something that kind of goes like this, say the dress, it just goes straight down. So if you buy a smaller size, then it's more likely to cling where you want it to cling. So yeah, it just depends what you're looking for. So fact number four is that most stores, not all, like every Primark is different, but most of them get new deliveries every single day. So if you go in and you're desperate for something, they don't have it in your size, or they just have none at all in stock, then if you go in the next day or a couple of days later, then they are most likely to have it in. So don't give up straight away. So fact number five, I think I'm on number five, I hope so. Otherwise I've missed one out. I might do one extra just in case. So if you're short of time or you just don't like queuing, I mean, who does like queuing? Not me, that's for sure. You're best heading up to the men's floor as that's normally the quietest and that normally has like the shortest queues rather than the ground floor which is pretty much the busiest in every Primark and yeah that's just one way to beat the queues. So I'm going to throw in a fact six just in case I have missed one. I'm quite paranoid that I have now because I've not really been keeping track properly but fact number six is that employees don't actually get a discount for Primark although at Christmas they do get 10% off although I have been reading that depending which Primark you work at 
you can get discounts for other stores such as Burger King or Costa, Starbucks or local stores in the area. Now I've heard that not every Primark does this which is kind of strange how you know every Primark has its own rules and own ways and stuff like that considering it's such a big company you'd think that they'd all be exactly the same but that's not the case. So if you're going to work at Primark I'd have a little read on the one you're applying at and see what benefits you will have as an employee at that particular store and not just Primark in general. So yeah, that's all of the Primark facts that I have today. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and leave in the comments below any requests that you have for anything else. And if you're feeling extra generous, then please hit the subscribe button down below. It means so much to me and thank you for watching my video and I'll see you next time. Bye!